Hey everyone, welcome to another product spotlight video where every month we bring you the biggest updates to the HubSpot customer platform. First is a redesigned interface for product updates. Check this out. So inside your HubSpot account, you can see product updates and this new interface makes it so much easier to organize and sort them. We have these filters across the top so you can look at different types of updates, which categorizes them by how big of a change they are. You can also sort them by individual apps and by your product subscription. And then on the left, you can organize them based on their status. So are they live? Are they coming soon? Are they in beta? We're giving you more transparency than ever. You can see some updates that are in development and will probably change as, as they progress. And then we also have sunsets. And for each of the ones that are not fully live, we give estimated dates of when they will be released. The next update is quick filters for your dashboards. Check this out. So here I am on a dashboard inside of HubSpot. If you click on this quick filters button, you can see some that we've created for you or you can create your own. And when you add these to your dashboard, you then have the ability to quickly filter by the properties you added here. Next up, an AI assistant to help you create your social posts. Here I am in the social composer inside of Marketing Hub. And here where I create the body of my post, there is this AI assistant button. So you can give it a prompt describing what kind of post you want and then click generate and it will give you a starting point for your posts as easy as that. The next update is in Sales Hub and it is Deal Pipeline Rules. Check this out. Here I am in my deal settings and you'll notice this new Pipeline Rules tab. Here I can set several rules to apply to the deals in this pipeline. I can limit deal creation to a single stage, restrict deals from skipping stages, restrict deals from moving backwards, or control deal editing access. These rules do not apply to super admins, but for all other users, if we try to break a rule, for example, by moving a deal backwards, we'll get an error message telling us that's not allowed and the deal will scuttle back to the stage it came from. Our next update is for you CMS Hub users. You now have increased access control. Check this out. So here I am in the settings for my blog. And if you scroll down, you'll see some new options under access control. Specifically, check this one out. Give anyone access to the entire blog, but only members access to full posts. If you select this, Regular visitors will be able to see teasers of your posts, but they will have to become members in order to access full blog posts. Our final update for you this month is related to associations. You can now configure association limits for your different object associations. Take a look at this. Here I am on my contact settings. I'm using contacts as an example. You can do this with any object type. If you come to the associations tab, you'll now see this orange configure association limit button. So right now I'm looking at my contact to company associations, but for all of my association types, I can limit how many on either side of the association are allowed. So by default, you can have as many contacts associated to as many companies as you want. But if you want to limit this to a particular number on one side or the other, you can do that. Also, for individual labels, you can do the same thing. So let's say I want to create an association label called billing contact. And I want to enforce that a company can only have one billing contact at them. I can limit the number of contacts to a particular number, in this case, just one. That's all for the Product Spotlight video this month. Be sure to subscribe to get all the updates and all of our insights into how to use HubSpot better.